Joined here by head coach Melissa Ferry. Coach, open up on Friday night. How is yes. preseason going? It's going really well. So we started in September, which is about a month earlier than we were able to start last year because we were onboarding new staff last year. Um, and so it's gone great. Our incoming students, which are freshmen and transfers, have been coming in with great energy and effort, and it's paired well with our returners, and they all came back in better shape than we expected. So both myself and Coach Mosley, who coaches throws, we both said like we had to go back and redo our fall training because everyone came in ahead of where we thought they'd be, and so we had to go back and retool everything to continue to advance that. So it's gone really, really well in both regards to mental preparation, attitude, as well as actual physical training. Coach, a strong group mm -hmm. of returners coming in. You know, the women's yes. side have the likes of the, the Ryan Washington, Ava Hoffman, mm -hmm. and Gabby Curtis, just to really name a few. Mm -hmm. uh, on the men's side, you're looking at the likes of the here Chapman, Chad Malbray, mm -hmm. Andrew Puzz, and the return of Ralph Casper, who had a great indoor season in 2020 yes. before the pandemic arrived. You can talk mm -hmm. about that group. Yeah. So Zaria entered the top 10 last year in multiple events and shot in disc and did really well at the conference level. So we're really excited to see where she comes back at this year and then continues. Um, you mentioned Ava Hostetler. She's been jumping really well in practice. The other day she matched her outdoor PR just in a training session. So we're looking at her well surpassing that going into the rest of winter with five months still left to go. Gabby has always sets the standard for work ethic. She's come through the fall in great shape. So we're looking forward to seeing where her performance marks come into play. Uh, on the men's side, we a couple of those names that you mentioned are tied to like long sprints. So Zier and Chad, uh, we actually return all four legs of our all-conference 4 by 4 to meet a relay team, which they were on. Uh, you mentioned Ralph coming back off of an academic red shirt um, when, he had, when he had transferred back in, he had to sit out for a year. So he's coming back off of that when he had won a national title in 2020. So really excited to see how well he throws, looking like it might throw you know, well beyond the facility limitations in a couple of places. Um, so he's looking great. Uh, and then Andrew Puz was vaulting great for us last year. He's ended up on the podium almost every season for the last few years in vault. So we'd like to see him go after a title this year. I think it's within his wheelhouse and the work that he's put in um, and just joined by a great freshman class on both sides and a great set of transfers who then complement all of that work. Yeah, so cross country ended uh, with our performance at NCAA Regionals, which was like the Icebox Championship. Uh, and so our our distance runners indoors will run anywhere from the 800 up through the 5K. There's no 10K indoors, as well as a DMR relay. So we'll see uh, Bella transition. We'll see Amir transition. Phil Smith will transition from from cross country into indoor running, 3K, 5K, DMR legs, uh, and a large variance. Indoor is slightly more distance friendly than outdoor because we have the DMR uh, versus the four by one. So we'll see, they'll get a lot of time on the track and looking to see them put all that mileage to use that they had accumulated in the fall. Yeah. yeah, we've had a wonderful group of newcomers. This year, we had brought in an incoming class of freshmen and transfers that totaled about 30-some student-athletes, which is huge. And that has included transfer students, graduate students, and true freshmen, each of whom have brought great work ethic, great attitude, uh, really brought their A-game, if you will, and are ready to make an immediate impact. So on the gentleman's side, short sprints, you have Damian Simpson and Josh Farrell. On the ladies' side, you have Lily and Annika, uh, who's 60 meters in pole vault. Um, so it is across the board. It's every event group has a great new class this year, and we're really excited to see them have an outstanding first year in a Westchester uniform.